guys, what's up? My name is Gabby and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be making over my dining area. I call it a dining area because it's not a dining room. It's really just a small space in my apartment that is big enough to be able to fit a table in it. So we're gonna call it a dining area. I really wanna make it over. I've had a dining set in there for a bit, but overall it's just looking really bland. There's nothing really on the wall. There's no direct light in that area. So it's really hard to work out of. So I actually DIY'd a lamp on my last video that I put in that area. So definitely check that video out if you're interested in learning how I was able to make it. But in today's video, I'm going to be actually finishing up the makeover, adding a mirror that I've been really wanting to DIY as well as some little decor pieces to really just make the area my own. Before we get into the video, I do want to address the elephant in the room. I know it's been a minute since I uploaded. First, I just want to apologize and just say I'm really sorry. It's been really hard to upload the past couple months. Just a lot of life changes happened. I started a new job, I moved. And so a lot of that took away a lot of time that I needed to edit and upload these videos. I have been filming though. So a lot of the videos you're going to be seeing are very backlogged. <laughs> um, I filmed between March and September. So don't mind if you see some things that are a little off. Don't mind that. I am back and I will be uploading consistently moving forward. My new uploading schedule for now will be every other week and then we might increase the frequency of uploads but for now we'll do every other week. If you guys enjoy this video be sure to like it as well as comment down below with what you want to see next and as always be sure to hit subscribe if you enjoy all things home decor, DIY, room makeovers, furniture flips, and everything else in between. So without further ado let's get on with the video. All right, so this is what my dining area has been looking like. As you can see, I have some furniture in it already, but overall, it's just been looking really bare to me, and I just really wanted to liven it up. I picked up these two chairs from Pier 1 Imports, and I also picked up this table from Ross, and I love the pieces, but I feel like they can be enhanced with just a few added touches. So I felt like one of the ways that I can do that was by adding lighting to the area. I actually DIY'd this IKEA lamp to look like a West Elm one. I actually have a whole video on how I was able to do it, so definitely go check it out. I will link it up in the cards and also down below. The DIY was super easy and added such a great element to the space, but even after adding it, I still felt like the space needed something else. So I've been seeing this DIY mirror all over TikTok, and I thought that it would be perfect to add to the space. So I headed over to my local home improvement store and picked up this six piece frameless mirror set as well as this two by four piece of wood and some construction adhesive so that I could attach the mirror to the wood. I'm just going in and putting some glue onto the back of the mirror as well as onto the piece of wood and just pressing it on to make sure that it sticks. I just did that for the entire mirror and left it overnight for it to dry. Okay, so it's the next day and I'm finished applying the mirrors. They are looking pretty good. I just left it overnight with something heavy to press the mirror on top of the wood and it seemed to work pretty well. They are really stuck on there. I picked up some of these wooden dowels from Home Depot and I'm going to measure them out on to the mirror and mark off where I need to cut them. So in order to give this mirror a window pane look, I went ahead and picked up these dowels. I'll be sure to link everything down below for you all. I just measured them out and I cut them. Once I finished cutting it, I just measured it onto the mirror to make sure that it fit. Once I got all the dowels cut, I went ahead and prepped it for paint. I just sanded down the pieces that I cut in order to make sure that there were no jagged edges. And I decided to paint the mirror white using this interior exterior color sample paint and a satin finish the color pure white and then i went ahead and applied it using this touch-up kit that i also found from a home improvement store i just found that this was much easier to do than trying to spray paint it and just a quick tip i found that the best way to prevent your roller from drying in between coats is to rinse it out and wrap it up in a damp paper towel and then bag the whole thing and stick it in the fridge i swear guys your roller will stay wet for days 
So once all the dowels were dry, it was time to apply them onto the mirror. Before applying anything, I went ahead and wiped down the mirror just to make sure that there was no dust or any residue left on it that would prevent the dowels from sticking properly. I decided to stick the dowels onto the mirror using E6000. It was clear and also easy to wipe off in case I got it all over the place. I just applied a thin layer onto the back of the dowel and just pressed it on to make sure that it wasn't going anywhere. And to clean up the glue, I just use a bit of acetone and wiped it off with the paper towel to make sure the dowels don't go anywhere be sure to tape them down and leave them overnight to dry So once the E6000 cured, it was time to add edge banding. Edge banding just finishes off the mirror and gives it a clean look. If you don't apply edge banding, it just kind of looks unfinished and not cute. Applying edge banding is super simple. All you have to do is just place it where you want it to go. And with a regular clothing iron, just pass it over a few times on the cotton setting. That's going to melt the adhesive and allow it to stick onto the side of the mirror. Last step is to apply the hardware onto the back of the mirror so that it can stay on the wall <laughs> the piece of wood that i picked up was really thin so i had to apply two small pieces of wood to the back of it to allow some depth for the hardware to screw into the hardware that i went with was this ring hanger i just went ahead and drilled in some pilot holes to make sure that the screws had something to go into i also went ahead and added some nuts to add some more depth because i really wanted to make sure that these screws did not hit the mirror on the other side of the wood it's pretty secure. So moving on, I went ahead and finished it off by adding some wire to the back of the mirror to make sure that I could hang it. Before hanging your picture on the wall, you want to make sure that you weigh it to make sure that you pick up the right picture hangers. The last thing you want to do is have this thing crashing down onto your floor. My mirror ended up weighing a little less than 25 pounds. So just to be safe, I went with two picture hangers that could hang up to 30 pounds each. So before showing you all the final reveal, let's take a look at what this space looked like before. I already had this beautiful table and chairs, but I felt like I could have gotten more out of this space. So just with a few simple and easy DIYs, I was able to transform my dining area into this. that was my dining area makeover i hope you guys enjoyed it i truly love the space and i love how it came out so definitely let me know what you guys think down below if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun videos that i already have edited and ready to upload i promise that i am going to be uploading every other week so definitely be sure to subscribe i'll see you guys on the next video bye